I, I want to talk about you know the university because we we have an incredible mission for uh, for honoring people who have made a notable contribution, and I want to talk about your start. Where did where did the idea for billionaires row come from, and, and how how did you get it to where it is now? So crazy story. Most people don't know this. The idea came from a song. Wow. The idea came from a song. It was uh. I was sitting in my apartment with my boy, Sakaya Sandiford, and literally a song came on for the first time ever hearing it. It's called Run This Town with Rihanna and Jay-Z. Ah. And uh, in the midway of the song, Jay-Z goes, so my bank kid is looking like Millionaire's Row. Mm. And, you know, and then Rihanna went into, life's a game, but it's not fair. Yeah. So, you know, I thought about that, and I used to just write down words and mm. music and phrases that I wanted to eventually own or I wanted to associate ah. myself with. And I always believed that when you write something down, it's five times more likely to happen. Ah. So I would jot these things down and I put me in there and down and I was like, Jay's Jay worth like two, three hundred. At the time it was like worth like two, three hundred million. I was like, yeah. But he's like six hundred million short ah. of a billion. Ah. Like, that's the reality. It was crazy. It's a, it was a crazy statement, <laughs> <laughs> like coming from where he's come from to get yeah. to that point at that time. Yeah. But that was his truth. Ah. I wanted to, I wanted to top that. Ah. So I was like, nah, a million dollars, that's not it. It's a billion. So I put billionaire bro. So I went and looked it up. Uh, and this guy in Boston at MIT owned the name. So I called him. So wow. the information was there. And he said, I told him what I, my idea was. He's wow. like, sure, I'll sell it to you. He was like, under one condition. So what? He said, wire me the money. When I get the money, I'll send it to you. I was like, you don't want to do PayPal. I was like, nah. He said, if you can't trust me. He said, if you can't trust me, then we should be doing business anyway. Wow. So I was like, and it was a lot of money at the time. Wow. So I just put my faith in God and I sent it anyway. Wow. I sent it to him and he said, I see you have trust. Here's your domain. He gave it to me. He was like, congratulations. The rest was history. And I was like, at that time we had Web 1.0, Web 2.0. We don't have like, web. now it's Web 3.0. Yeah. Right? Um, which is like the decentralization of of uh, the web but before yeah. that it was 2.0 1.0 yeah. so I was like what am I going to build on this island because I now know and understood then that domains were a piece of real estate oh. and it was just digital real estate that could be worth just as much as a physical piece of property wow. but whatever you build on it determines the value mm. so what are you going to build on billionaires row mm. and that was the start of it and so Sakaya he started sketching, he designed a beam. And, you know, I always looked at Sakaya at the time because Sakaya had just finished writing Kanye West's best selling book. Wow. And, you know, Kanye won all these Grammys and shouted them out on the ground wow. stage. And the best man in his wedding with Kim, you know, they got married. Wow. And so they were very close. So I trusted him to come help me come up with the vision. So he designed mm. his beam with two lions on the sides. And I was like, <laughs> that don't speak to the world. That speaks to a specific demographic. Wow. That speaks to us. Yeah. But it didn't speak to them. Ah. So I said, nah, let's do B, R, and let's just go with that. Wow. Simple, like Rolls Royce. Wow. So we, we did that. And uh, started promoting these things called Thinker's Thursdays. Ah. So Thinker's Thursdays was all like Sakaya's. That was him, all wow. him. Wow. Because thinking, like, it was like thinking grow rich, but he was like Thinker's Thursday. Yeah. So while that concept came up, I was thinking of another concept. Like, how do we get these people to create energy or currency with us mm. on Thinker's Thursdays? So Thinker's Thursdays was a dinner series that we put together, like wow. SDK, 21 Club, around Manhattan. Wow. And we would put what I would call pioneers of industry in the room, and no one knew each other. Wow. So when they got in the room, it would be like a rapper across from an insurance agent wow. or a Wall Street banker across from, wow. you know, a franchisee owner. Wow. Right. And then I would stand up and I would say, I would introduce myself. They all knew me, obviously. 
Yeah. And I would have everyone introduce themselves. And I would stand up and I would say, thank you all for coming. Now, let's make magic. And what I realized is that wealth was built and created after 5 p.m. Wow. From, so from 9 to 5, money was never really made. It was made after. Wow. Like at the dinner tables. Yeah. At the club. Yeah. At restaurants, at parties. Yeah. And that's when I figured out the magic happened. Mm. You know, where wealth was really built, where you could connect and network with someone because, you know, what I always believe is that what success is to me is success is having as many conversations with as many people as possible wow. because the right conversation can change your life. Mm. And it's just like that, right? So we started doing these these dinner series and they started getting real popular. And everyone was like, <laughs> you know, where is this going? Where is this going? Where is this going? Because when people would leave the room, they would be so enamored by the energy Wow. that I wanted to take that energy and I wanted to bottle it into something. Oh. <laughs> I wanted to put it, put, it, put it in something where people could take it with them. Because when they left me, that dream or that whatever that experience was, wow. was gone. Wow. Right? And, and it's like it's like a natural high or like a high in general. People yeah. chase that high. Yeah. So I see it. I saw the people were chasing that high. Wow. It was, fall, it was, a, falling sh- it was a fall short of their expectations wow. of what billionaire role really was. And so I said, let me put my successes, my failures, my passions, and everything in something. And wow. the idea for champagne came during my birthday. So mm. my birthday, the night of my birthday, um, we had this crazy party at the Trump Soho in New York City. And at wow. the end of the night, no one contributed to the bill. So the bill was wow. ridiculous. So I had invited everybody upstairs to my place, wow. and I quieted the room, and I jumped on top of the table, and I said, um, the room got quiet, and I said, I finally realized in life I don't have any friends. And the room got dead silent. Wow. And I said, I'm going to France to start my own champagne company. Wow. The room bust out laughing. Wow. So the next day, I tell my boy Richie, who you're going to meet today. Wow. From 2010, 2011, when I did that. Wow. I said, yo, I'm going to France. He's like, get out of here. He was like, dog, it's not a big deal. You're joking. I said, no. That moment last night changed the course of my life. Wow. Forever. Because one thing that I I realized is I would never allow anyone to tell me no when I knew it was possible. Wow. Right? So the next day, I jump on a plane. Uh. I'm going to France. I call my mom. She's like, yo. She's like, yo, you ain't never been there. I was like, I don't even need to be there. I don't care. Because when I moved to New York, I didn't know nobody. Right. Uh huh. So when I moved to New York, I didn't know nobody. Uh. Right? So, but I built all these relationships with people coming and hanging out. And yeah. Politicians and Wall Street bankers and celebrities and athletes coming and hanging out with me. Uh-huh. So I said, I want to take my, um, I want to take that same ability and take it to France, bring back something. Because uh-huh. I know luxury is there. Yeah. I bring luxury here. The Chinese ain't gonna have they're not gonna question that. Yeah. The Africans ain't gonna question that. Wow. The South Americans ain't gonna question oh. that. Everybody buys French. Yeah. So I go, Champagne. Yeah. Champagne. Everybody like, oh, you're crazy. I go, no. Champagne. Wow. Champagne. Because when and and defeat, you need it, and success, you drink it. So it don't matter if you win, lose, 